So next year is the 50th anniversary of putting a man on the, the moon, believe it or not. And the whole theme of next year's game will be space. And we've already given you a teaser in the name, but uh, the one thing I will say is there's not a lot of liquid water in deep space, so it's probably not going to be the year for that water game we keep getting asked about. First does a great job of teasing, getting everybody guessing about what what's next year's competition is going to be. I'm a senior, but I, and I do have to say, I kind of wish that I could be there next year for it because a deep space is always seen as like a huge step in innovation. Personally, I'm really excited. I grew up loving space and like astronomy, so I'm really hopeful for this one. I'm really excited for that. Probably the fact that it's one of my favorite topics and favorite fields of science. I'll be having a lot of fun researching for the project. That sounds really cool. That sounds like it'd be like really cool to watch, I think. And I'm excited to see how that's going to work next year and like what it's going to be like. We've gone back and studied all of these teasers, and for the most part, you can't glean much information out of them for good reason. I doubt they're going to let us have live rockets. Could be back to some reduced gravity thing. It opens a lot of doors for new types of uh, mechanisms that might need to be put in place. I think maybe we'd be like moving around like meteors or something like that. I don't know. I'm hoping that we'll have a really cool galaxy theme and have like a ton of like nebulas. Probably like lunar, uh, lunar lunacy, I think it was, which was 2009. So maybe like some slick floors and like a space like background. We just have to find ways to fill the next nine months so that we're ready for it.